Welcome back, everybody, to the Daily Racing Show here at Race Plaza Media. My name is Milan. My name is Pia. And today we're going to talk about the big Supercross finale. thought we are going to do our thing. Oh, AMA, AMA Supercross, Supercross finale. <laughs> the big showdown. Every championship was still up for grabs. Yes. Nothing was decided yet. And uh, let's play the intro and then we'll get right into it. Yes. All right, so let's start. Yes. So we had, of course, uh, the race was in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City, Utah, correct. And um, we had also the big showdown again between the East Coast and the West Coast boys. Yep. So 250 SX uh, West Coast versus East Coast again, mm -hmm. second race. Yes. It was the last round of Supercross. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, all championships were technically still up for grabs. There were some that were... Um, tighter than others yes so but yeah for the 250 sx west coast mm -hmm. we had um rj hampshire mm -hmm. and levi kitchen both in the lead with 263 points or whatever i mean they were tied that was the main they thing tied. they were tied both with the red plate mm -hmm. so i mean it was really whoever, whoever won will or whoever will come out ahead yes will end up winning correct then we had a 250 sx uh east coast we had uh, tom vial leading 15 points ahead of hayden deegan so he had to overall finish 11th yes. or higher or better mm -hmm. in if deegan would win the race yes correct and then we had in 450 sx there was a 15 no, that was a higher between uh, Jet Lawrence and Cooper Webb. So Jet had to finish 17th or higher with Cooper Webb winning to or like he had to finish 17th or higher for him to clinch the championship, take the champ championship. Exactly. And, and Webb would have to win it. Yes. So um, the heat races, I would say the most. Um, so actually it was very interesting because they in the heats they split um east coast and west coast they actually don't ride together until the main event yes or no till no, until, until the last chance qualifier yes. sorry mm -hmm. um it was very interesting because tom vial seemed to struggle quite a bit on the track yeah it was very he, surprising he finished eighth in the heat or mm -hmm. ninth so he made it yeah but it wasn't like a dominant really performance not what we're used to from him yeah so we were already like ooh you know of course finishing top 11th is not like not not saying it's not difficult but it's yeah. something that is expected of Tom mm -hmm. but it is um it was surprising to see his performance while Deegan on the other hand had a really really good performance yes. he ended up winning the heat mm -hmm. and and he didn't really have any issues he was no. really really quick yeah. he I'm not saying he drove away but no. he he wasn't really battling anyone No he had the, the whole heat. shot and yeah. then he immediately went into the lead so it was a mm -hmm. clean um secure race yeah. for him so there was no real issue there mm -hmm. um for the uh west coast boys mm -hmm. i'm trying to remember if it was uh levi won the whole shot and he kind of oh, drove away yes that's true and then rj ended up coming second second yeah they were behind each other mm -hmm. uh we were debating whether or not they rj was maybe playing it safe or maybe analyzing how uh, kitchen was riding because i mean there was no need for them to really fight it out during the heat mm -hmm. um just to be safe because they both need to of course make it into the main event yeah. um and then for the um 450 jet won the the heat mm -hmm. or i mean his heat and yeah. then chase won his heat respectively mm -hmm. Um, so, I mean, they were all great races. The mm -hmm. only thing is Cooper Webb was also in Jed Lawrence's heat. Yes. And he was a little bit further back. Um, but we were thinking that maybe he was just resting um, his hand. Yes. Because he has a thumb injury and actually on Monday. So tomorrow he will have surgery on his yeah. thumb. Um, so it is a little bit unfortunate that he was not able to go into the race yes. feeling 100%. Mm -hmm. Especially considering how much was on the line and... I mean, how much like he would have to outperform Jet yeah. to really clinch this championship. That being said, mm -hmm. the uh, I think the one of the most exciting was the last chance qualifier mm -hmm. for 450. Was mm -hmm. it 450? I think it, both of the last chance qualifiers were really fun to watch. There was a lot of action. Mm -hmm. But then the, um, I believe it was the 451 where they had in the last corner mm -hmm. of the last lap where there was 
this, I mean, that upset. Yeah, yeah, it, that, yeah. Was, that was 450. Yeah. Because the guy who ended up clinching it ended up coming last. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So essentially, you had Noren, I think, it mm-hmm. were, and another dude, they were um, fighting for that fourth spot. Yes. Then the guy who was in fifth made the attack uh, in the last corner, really. And then, um, however, he ended up falling on his b- oh. off of his bike and taking down the other guy. Yes. And then Moran's r- came around the corner and made it through. Yes. And that was really, really exciting. I don't yeah. think it was Nor- Noran, actually. I think because I saw him in the... It was another guy. Yeah. I Whatever mean, it was. Anyways, I highly recommend watching the, the Last LCQ. Chance Qualifiers. Yeah, very, very we did have, before going into Last Chance Qualifiers, we did have a weather delay. Yes. They had to evacuate the stadium mm-hmm. because of severe, severe weather. There was a thunderstorm approaching and it was really high winds, you could tell. Yes. Um, I had thought originally first that people were left to go grab like snacks yeah. and restroom break. It's because you were hungry. <laughs> yes. But then we saw the the sign, and then of course they had a banner running through that there was a delay, and I think the delay was, I don't know, like thirty minutes, maybe, probably, maybe even a little bit more than that. Yeah, thirty to forty five minutes, I would say. Yes, less, less than, than an hour. hour. Yeah, but thirty to f- yeah, I would say because we just finished a live stream, mm-hmm. so we did like a live hangout session. Yeah, and for it, we will be doing one also for Le Mans twenty four hour. That will be pretty intense. Yes. Um. But, but yeah, yeah I think it was like, like maybe a 40 minute delay. Yeah, I would say um, so. However, before we start talking about the main events, mm-hmm. I do want to mention we saw we got to see Kenny on the track. Yes. Not on the track. He, he was physically on the track, but his son was Yeah, cuz he was riding. with crutches. Yeah. But it was good to hear that he doesn't need surgery and mm-hmm. he is um is coming back next year for Supercross. Yes. And we don't know yet how it's going to go with the outdoor season Mm -hmm. because he said the injury that he sustained um, does take up to, I think, up to two months. Well, he said it will take eight weeks for him to get rid of the crutches alone. And then it will be a matter of rebuilding the muscles and getting back on the bike. So it sounds also that he has a healthy way of looking at it. He really wants to take his time and make sure that his body is ready because he wants to not just come back at any in any shape or form he wants to come back and compete and win yes so i'm happy to that hear too. that yeah of course we want our kickstart kenny to yeah. be competing so that was good to see him um, good to see him in good spirits exactly and, you know, yes yes um, but before we get into the the main events also we did a uh, live stream we had a little hangout party so i want to give a shout out to cactus tiger as well as garrett for chatting with us mm-hmm. for majority of not all of the night's events so thank you so so much and also thank you to everybody else who tuned in tuned in and uh, joined us Mm -hmm. for any amount of time we really appreciate it and then like yeah like you said we're gonna do le mans coming up in june Mm -hmm. uh 15th 16th it's gonna be a long one so there'll be plenty of time for all of you guys to tune in for that yeah but yeah for specification we're doing a hangout we're obviously not showing the footage we do not have the rights to that but we're essentially just chatting along about what is happening yes now moving on from that we let's talk about the main event for the 250 east coast west coast showdown uh, west coast yes um it was really really exciting yes um there was a there was a lot of position fight however Mm -hmm. um i will say spoiler alert hayden Ding won it Mm -hmm. and i don't think really he really had uh, a lot of trouble yeah (coughs) sorry never mind actually jordan smith his um, teammate uh, from the yes, West Coast. That's true. Yes. They were battling each other for uh-huh. a while. However, then um, there was um, he blitzed him essentially on the whoops because he knew he was faster. Yes. And then, however, Hayden came around mm-hmm. and kind of crossed him, and then that um, threw Jordan off the bike. Yes, he still ended up on the podium. He still finished second. Second. Um, however, yeah, he he could have competed for the win, but then yeah, it it just created too much distance for him to make up that time he, did, he came third who came in second rj oh Spoiler yes alert. yes 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 so then so yeah like you know we had two championships competing in one single race yes so we had eyes on hayden deacon and tom vial because they were competing and of course rj hampshire and as well as levi kitchen mm-hmm. um yeah, like you said, Hayden Deegan had a great start. The rest of them got a little bit, were a little bit further back in the pack. I would say like midfield. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, so RJ, I think after the start, he was maybe in fourth or fifth. Mm-hmm. Then he uh, rode up 
till a third place and then when uh, Jordan fell off the bike bike he essentially was able to clinch second place mm -hmm. he ended up getting quite close to Deegan mm -hmm. at the end but I think it would have maybe needed another like three or so laps yeah. to really make it a battle to see who was able to take yes. it mm -hmm. um, I think Hayden overall was just the fastest out of the 250 that whole um, day I mean, he got out of there. I mean, he no. got the whole shot and he just rode away. No, I mean, he also said like in practice and qualifying, he oh, always okay. had the fastest time. Gotcha. So he overall was just the fastest that weekend. Mm -hmm. However, Tom was still fast enough. Tom ended up coming, I think, like seventh mm -hmm. or sixth or something or eighth or something like that. So no, I think he ended up coming eighth. Yeah, I think he came in eighth, but it was... Enough to end up winning the championship. Yes. So big congratulations to yeah. His Tom Vial. Second year in the 250 SX and he took the win. Cactus Tiger kindly enough informed us that last season mm -hmm. Tom's best or highest um, placement was fourth. Mm -hmm. So this is a huge improvement. So congratulations to him. I'm definitely personally very excited to follow his career yeah. and to see what else he's going to do. Yeah. Um, also, whether or not he's going to stay in the 250 or if he's going to move up or whatever is going to happen to him. I, mean, I think he's staying in 250 yeah, he, for he now. Gets, he gets his chance to defend yes. the title. Mm -hmm. Where on the West Coast side, um, I think Levi, to his detriment, he just had a bad start. Yeah. So he ended up getting caught up in what I call the sauce, mm -hmm. uh, which is when you get caught up just in the backfield. And he yeah. wasn't really able to push the front, um, which was a bummer because why we were all kind of rooting for RJ because RJ, two Got years in a row. so many times. Yeah, two years yeah. in a row now came second, um, both to Jet, I think. Um, yeah, one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Um. So it was um so it was nice for RJ to win it to he take won it, it yes. and it was um well deserved he had a really really fantastic season yes um but we did want Levi to get up in the front and battle it out with him but yeah, he was just never really able to get into the front he was mm -mm. kind of stuck where he was I don't know if this was also a track that is not really good for overtaking yeah um but it was it was a little bit of a bummer that he was not able to really fight rj for the championship agreed um but once again it was really really also a great season by levi i'm yes. excited to see him next year again mm -hmm. and maybe he is able to clinch it mm -hmm. um cactus tiger did inform us that rj might not continue into 250 because the team that he's currently racing for which is the rockstar something something team mm -hmm. Um, they have a spot open in 450 mm -hmm. and he is already quote unquote one of the older guys he's 28 yes so um, maybe he would be moving up and it would mm -hmm. be kind of cool to see him in 450 yeah I would be definitely curious um, to see him compete with the the big boys absolutely yes um, so I will say it was overall a really really cool race yes um, it was but, good to see oh, also go Joe Shimoda ended up coming yes. fourth if he would have been able to Actually, he was third yes. after um, Jordan Smith went down. Mm -hmm. However, Jordan was able to overtake him if... However, I, I did do the, the math, math and uh -huh. I believe he would have had to have two positions in between Jordan uh, Smith and him in order to overtake him in the overall championship. Because they were all so close. They were like two or one point yes. between each other. So there was some fighting there also happening. But yeah, I, I agree. It was overall a really fun race. A nice mm. East Coast, West Coast showdown. It was really cool to see or and also calculate, oh, he Tom Vial needs to stay in this position mm -hmm. to make sure that so he wins. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. I think it was definitely a nice first finale for us. Yeah. And I'm moving on to the 450 SX. I mean, we the overall favorite going into it, I think, was um, Jet Lawrence. However, surprisingly, he didn't lead the race. No, like he at also, all. quote mm -hmm. unquote, got caught up in the sauce. Yes. And then, um, and then he ended up just kind of riding his own race yeah. in um, seventh place. I yeah, think. there was a couple seconds um, to the f person in front of him, a couple which seconds Malcolm, behind, yeah. which was kind of nice. I feel like he just kept it safe, make sure no no major mistakes. There was no risk of him essentially losing the championship. Don't really, don't DNF. Yeah, essentially don't DNF, and you are the 450 SX champion, yes. and that's what he did. Mm -hmm. So he ended up winning. Mm -hmm. um, Chase 
ended up winning the race. Yes. So it was kind of cool to see him finish the season uh, on top. Yeah, exactly. Because he won his heat race. Mm -hmm. um, he Last weekend, he had a better race as well. So yeah, it was nice to see him come back a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. And it see, he seems very motivated and happy with his current form going yep. into the outdoor season now. Yep. So I was also very happy to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, second place was Justin Cooper, the rookie of um, another, another rookie, rookie of the season. He came mm -hmm. in second, his first podium of the season with Team Yamaha. So I think all the rookies now made it this year onto the podium. I if it's three rookies, yeah, and I, then all of them made it onto I believe the so, yeah, which is so exciting. It was a nice mm -hmm. way for him to finish the season. And mm -hmm. then third place ended up being Cooper Webb, which I think is absolutely impressive. Knowing that he's going to have surgery on Monday yes. on his thumb, he was still able to compete at such a top level. Yeah, I don't want to know how poorly he was feeling. I mean, he seemed very down at the end because he only came in second and he did have a fighting chance a couple races ago. Third. Oh, oh a second in a championship. My yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, sorry. That's what I meant. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't this time around. But he seems also motivated to get his thumb all sorted out and then come back stronger next season. And I also thought it was very nice of him to speak so nicely of Jet, saying that he's a... a generational. A, yeah, exactly. A generational talent. talent coming in. So it's nice to see that Jet has, I seem, I feel like now, earned the respect not only from... I mean, not that his fellow writers weren't respecting him earlier, but he even said it in his post-race interview. So anybody who has been talking smack can suck, suck it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say it's, yeah, once again, it's a little bit of a bummer that we couldn't see Cooper really compete at the top level for the last couple of races. Yes. Or at like a hundred percent, especially because mm -hmm. this was apparently his best season of his career. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that he's able to get his surgery, able to recover. And then next year, really battle it yes. out too, because I think there's a few guys who are going to come back from injury and hopefully are able to battle for the title. And yes. it's not going to be just uh, the Jet Lawrence show. Oh, not no. that I have anything against yeah. Jet. Obviously, he is an insanely talented yes. writer. Um, I, th I think the thing that I did wanted to bring up also, mm -hmm. there was a little bit of an incident between oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason Anderson and Hunter, Hunter Lawrence. Lawrence. Yes. So Hunter Lawrence was um, in front of Jason. Yeah, so there are two incidents. So the first yeah, one... Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, yeah. yeah. So he was in front and then... Um, Jason Anderson passed him quite aggressively and then it ended up throwing Hunter off the bike. This mm -hmm. is actually not the first time. This has happened this they, season, yeah. Um got together. Jason is known to uh, be a little bit of a aggressive rider. You yeah. Know, he puts his elbows out. However, mm -hmm. then um Jason was battling um Cooper mm -hmm. Webb for the uh, for a podium for a podium for mm -hmm. a third place position and originally actually in the live stream I said I actually liked it but I didn't realize what was happening yeah. really so um Hunter was being uh, Hunter Hunter after falling down he ended up being in last place he ended up driving up a few positions mm -hmm. but his race was essentially over yeah and then he ended up being lapped by Jason mm -hmm. and he purposely slowed down and then kind of pushed or drove into Jason as a so like a a payback yeah. however and i was like yeah you know good for you for like you know standing up for, for yourself, standing up for yourself yeah. especially because i think hunters also comes off as the nice one yes. out of the uh not that jet is not nice but yeah like, he is He's the more, nice dude yeah um however i forgot to realize that he was being lapped yes and jason was fighting for um, a podium podium i in the moment, I thought that um, Hunter was just like battling Jason again. And yeah. he was like, uh, you know, I get mine, you get yours. Mm -hmm. But I do agree that, you know, if someone is still battling for position, still battling for podium, whatever, and you're the one being lapped, then that's out of place. Yeah. So we'll see if he will get a penalty in hindsight. Yes, yeah, Of so course, we'll the season is over now. So I don't know if it's like a monetary. Mm -hmm. But I was also thinking just because of um, Jason Anderson's history with the AMA, because he tends to get... Oh, penalized i was wondering won't. maybe if hunter might not but i i will say though no matter what it is like even though the season is over now uh -huh. there should be punishment because this is not something that should just like oh well it's the last race of the season. No, 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 no 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 yeah yeah, yeah. Like, it should definitely be like, treated the same way i was just wondering yeah, because yeah, of oh, his absolutely. track record so I mean, we'll it, see as by the time we're recording this video nothing has been announced yeah, because yet because we literally we ended the live stream and then we started this so yes. we don't know yeah so um, we'll we see. also it would be interesting to see jason talk about it mm -hmm. um and then maybe to see also what hunter has to say about yes. it um but yeah it's it's not a good look no no yeah, for it is sure. not like i i respect that you want to get yours mm -hmm. you know 
but not then. Yeah. Yeah. So well, yeah, we'll see what they all say about it, and I would also like to rewatch it, um, just to see again exactly what an impact it potentially had on Jason Anderson's race. Mm -hmm. But I would say overall, it was a really fun night. Yeah, it was absolutely. a it was a fun night of racing. All of the races were interesting. I have to say, going into the last chance qualifiers, I was like, oh, can we just skip them? Mm -hmm. Because one, we had the the weather delay, and then second, all of the <laughs> it's gonna sound so shitty, but all of the main guys mm -hmm. had already advanced. Um, but boy, but you ate your words, yeah, or you ate your thoughts, I guess, yeah, <laughs> because the LCQ ended up being really, really exciting yes. races. Um, I will also say it was really cool to see um, Wilson, who is retiring. Or, yeah, so Wilson... Uh, he got a top 10 finish. Yes. Then you had Nicoletti in the 250 also have a ten, top, top 10. Top 10 finish, yes. And then, unfortunately, Adam... What's his last name? Sierra Rulo. <laughs> Jean Rulo. I don't know. Well, I forget it again. Yes. He, unfortunately, was not able to get a top 10 finish. Yes. Even though he is retiring at the end of the... Uh, or he's now he's retired. He's now retired, yeah. Um, it's a little bummer, but... Um, once again, I, I will say though, I did not expect, or we got so lucky. What an amazing season. Yes. This is once again, this is our first super yeah. fast season and it was a really, really exciting season. You had a lot of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Our boy Kenny, mm -hmm. you know, we got to get, get to know so many riders. Yes. And then of course we had so many riders with injuries Oof. and, yeah. um, it was, but it was overall a really, really great season. Yes. And we got to attend a live event. We yes. went to the first triple crown event in Anaheim. Yeah. And I'm just so happy to have found the sport yes. and it's really, really awesome. I'm really excited to now go into the motocross outdoor uh, season, the outdoor season. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just, um, it's been really, really amazing. Yes. I want to also say thank you to all the people who have tuned in to our yeah. recaps. A big shout out once again to Cactus Tiger, who really also helped with educating us about yeah. the sport. Thank you so much. And yeah, anytime you guys have more information that you want to share with us mm -hmm. or anything yeah please do because that's what we want to do we want to learn more about all different types of racing and then that's how we came across supercross i mean i didn't know about supercross until i found it earlier this year yes and then, so it's, yeah it's yeah, been really great that's really all we are, are about we have a website raceplazamedia.com where you can find our racing calendar mm -hmm. on the racing calendar it breaks down what you can watch when you can watch it and more importantly also where you can watch it because racing don't always make it very oh, easy no. to find it so we find it for you guys and it's completely free so please yeah. check it out we just really want to spread the love of racing because there's so much cool racing out there yeah. outside of formula one and also free so much yes. free racing you can watch something so much more racing that's more affordable to go see in person i mean yeah. when we went to see the gt challenge america recently and it was so so affordable it's to go 50 see bucks for three days yeah. 50 bucks a person for three days that's yeah. it's like that's that's yeah. really really affordable yes and um yeah so there's a lot of uh, really cool racing out there and we want to watch it and yes. we want to talk about it and we want to share the love of ra about racing yes um so but i think this will wrap it up yeah um, thank you guys yeah oh sorry <laughs> i was gonna say i think we're tired we're yeah. hungry yes and um yeah but go ahead but yeah thank you guys so so much for tuning in as always please remember to give us a, a little like and a follow if you don't already follow so or subscribe, subscribe to us <laughs> and, and we will see you guys here at the daily racing show tomorrow, tomorrow. Bye, bye bye guys